The number of people needing to be treated for serious kidney disease is set to triple over the next 10 years. A new report released today has also found that the cost of treating the disease over the next decade will hit $12 billion. Health professionals believe a lot of money and lives can be saved if more people do their dialysis at home. For a patient to have dialysis in hospital costs around $80,000 a year. To have it at home is $30,000 less. Let's do this for you. Sandra Bell says by doing it herself, she's not only saving the system money, but she's saving herself time. She hooks herself up every second night and sleeps through most of her dialysis. I feel like about 100% better than I did when I was going to the clinic. In its report, Kidney Health Australia says by 2020, the number of people with serious kidney disease will have jumped more than 50%. And it's worked out that $430 million could be saved from the health system if more people do home dialysis. The patient who goes home regains some self-control, regains uh, uh, a measure of uh, self-worth and self-esteem. Kidney disease is on the rise in Australia for four main reasons. The population is ageing and the rates of diabetes, high blood pressure and obesity have exploded. Those working in health say the federal government should spend more on trainers to teach home dialysis because kidney disease is a major problem. One in three Australians is at increased risk of developing kidney disease and one in nine Australians already has some form of kidney disease and they don't know about it. A government spokeswoman says home dialysis isn't an easy solution because most end-stage sufferers are over 75 or are Aboriginal. Sandra Bell says it took over two months before she got the hang of it. She says if she'd got more encouragement from doctors, she would have started at home much sooner. Kerry Ritchie, ABC News, Melbourne.